Hey guys, it's Danny here with our first weekly Funko Pop review. Today we're checking out Stranger Things. Now, we're going to get into this Season 1 DVD and Blu-ray combo set from Target later on, but just look at this VHS case. Now, on to the Pops and Dorbs. Let's start off with the one that started it all, Will. Now, I just finished watching this show last night. Let's start off with the one that started it all, Will. Now, I just finished watching this show last night, and just take them out of the box and check them out. Here's Will. Let's get up close, look at this guy. This is the first time checking him out. All right, as you can see, the details on his vest is very similar to the show. And I like his backpack right here. It looks almost like my own backpack, actually. Black. You can see the detail on the zipper. I don't know if you can tell from here. Right, I like the textures back here on his shirt. On his sleeve. And his shoes. Oh my god, these are awesome shoes. You know, this is the first pop I just opened up from this series, and I like it already. Beautiful. Let's put him back here. Next to the couch. And on to the next one. Here we have Dustin. One of my favorite kid characters from the show. Minus 11, of course. Okay, on to the unboxing. There he is. Beautiful looking pop. This one has a little more to offer. Textures of a hat, making it look like it's a real hat. It even feels... I don't know if you can hear it, but it even feels rigid on the ends. And you can see a detail on his shirt. I believe that's his school's shirt and mascot. And there he is holding a compass. It's kind of hard to tell, but it's definitely pointing north. And he's wearing a backpack too. Almost the same design, except his is a different color and I'm sure it's a different mold. Let's put him next to Will. I'm sure he's missing him. Alright, on to the next kid. Lucas. In the beginning, I didn't get Mike, unfortunately. So I got all his friends instead. <laughs> Let's check him out. And I love how he's holding his binoculars and his bandana. He's ready for action. He's ready to find Will. And they all carry the same, not exact same, but similar backpack mold. I love the details on his feet, his shoes, his pants, everything he got as if you just saw him, but a smaller version. Definitely one of the favorites, and I'm glad I have Mike's friends with me right now. Check out Jonathan. Now this one, when I first saw it, I loved it because he's holding a camera, and I think he's one of the only few pops that actually has a camera. I take a lot of pop pics for my Instagram pop of the day insert right here. And this is part of the new series that has other characters that were not featured in the first run, and Eleven in her hospital gown. There'll be more of these guys later on in the review. Let's go ahead and open Jonathan up. Probably one of the Nikon cameras I had back then in the 80s. On its own is magnificent. And I like his jacket. Very simple colors on this character. Let's see the back. But when it goes in focus, you can see more details as if everything just cleared up. And then there's Jonathan. Come next to his brother. Alright, let's get on to the next one, which is Nancy. For those of you remember, or if you can't tell right now, it is Mike's sister in the show. This one I like because she's actually holding a gun. Let's go ahead and take her out and check more. Now taking a closer look at Nancy, you can see all the lines down her hair. So one thing I don't like, as you can see in right here, there's like a fingerprint of some kind, I guess glue. Left on my figure, unfortunately, but it's okay. I'll accept it. And uh, I like the details on his gun as well. Revolver. And there's Nancy, right next to Jonathan. Mr. Clark. Now, I wasn't sure about getting this one because he didn't have a big role in the show, but I liked his character a lot, which is what the main reason why I had to get this one. Let's check it out. Here we have Mr. Clark. Now my favorite part of this pop is actually what he's holding. Nice molding on the shoes and pants. 
very simple, but very detailed. I love it, and his little mustache right there. And this is 11, saving the best part for last, with electrodes. Now this is the 2017 Paul Kovetch exclusive, aka New York Comic Con exclusive. Let's just check it out right now. So excited. Yeah, I think this is my favorite pop. Oh, one second. Put it down for now. I don't know if you noticed, but on opening it, I actually just saw a stand that she has on the side. Normally they have it in the center, but on, for some reason, they have it on the side, which I like a lot. Instead of having it, it being right underneath, you have it in the space that they can fit it in. Small peg, small hole, just put it in. And I'm really glad they she came with the stand. That was nice of them to include it. Let's start with electrodes, because this is my favorite part and the reason why I want this pop. I like the colors that they consistently use throughout the whole line. I think I got a good one, minus a few faded areas right here. This is a good pop to have for this amount of detail. And I got some silver on the sides. And a bloody nose dripping down, nice touch. The strings on the back of a robe are very, very detailed. It's a detail too much. All right, now let's get on to the last. Funko figure from the review, and this is 11 Dorbs version, only at Target. I got this one at the same time I got the Season 1 DVD and Blu-ray set, and I felt like it was a nice touch just to get one little figure with it for a better look at her, a bigger and better look at her. And then other Dorbs that have just recently come out of my Target but might be coming out real soon at your local stores. Is. Now I like this one a lot and I'm going to keep both 11 Pop and Dorbs because this one reminds me of the very first episode. I love the design she has on the Benny's Burger shirt. You didn't really get a good look at it in the show but this one's like the best option to see it up close. And oh look, you can see her feet, her little toes. And you can see on her arm she has the 011 tattoo, aka her name, aka her number. But I think we're going to find out more about that in Season 2, which is coming out soon. I'm excited. I love this. I love the little dirt marks on this one. I love the little lines she has in the hair. Perfect. Cute, adorbs, and fitting. Alright guys, now here's the Stranger Things Blu-ray and DVD set from Target. It is a VHS set case, which is... Pretty amazing. I love the details they put into it, especially like the markings, the water markings, and the fading. Only at Target, Season 1 Collector's Edition includes 4 disc Blu ray, nice, and DVD set, as well as collectible poster. Let's go ahead and check it out, guys. Alright, here it is. Oh my god. It even feels like a VHS case. Oh my god. This thing looks amazing. Oh my god, look at those spools right here. You return it. There it is. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like it's all the way wound up to the beginning. Please be kind, rewind. Alright, now here's the side. Here's the bottom. Stranger Things Season 1. Oh my god, if they make Season 2 like this, it's gonna be amazing. Open it up. Ooh. Look at this, guys. Season 1, Disc 1. All four chapters in here on this Blu ray set. I wanna put it right here on the side. The other four episodes. And let's check out inside here. I think it's where the DVDs are kept. Oh, wait, wait. I gotta do it again. But you guys gotta see it from this side. Check it out. Oh my god. And it comes with disc one, the first four episodes from the DVD version. And the second one as well. I'm not gonna take it out because you guys can see it. Alright, let's check out the poster it comes with. Friends Don't Lie. Limited edition poster. There you go. It's this, it's a mouth of a Demogorgon. It's amazing, you can see all its teeth. All right guys, this is everything it comes with. Two DVDs, two Blu-rays, poster, an awesome looking case at Target only. That's it for the Blu-ray and DVD review. Let's get back to the pops and doors. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like these reviews, please leave a like and subscribe for more Funko reviews, hauls, and more. Make sure to check out our other videos and we'll see you next time.